The Archon class has finally been discovered and you can now get it in game. Some crazy people in the Remnant 2 community have figured it out and a massive huge shout out to JD on Discord for helping us get this in game for ourselves so we can show it off to you guys and share with you how to get it. So thank you JD you absolute legend. This new archetype seems to have been added in as some kind of data mining challenge by the developers. It requires you to be wearing a specific set of items, armor and multi-class skills in order to be able to go through the corrupted door in the labyrinth world. This this is definitely a challenge to obtain, but the amazing community over on the Remnant 2 Discord have posted each item that you will need to get and wear in order to go through and get it for yourself. So on screen you can see the full layout of everything that you need, but let's go through it. You want to get the Void Heart, which will require you to re-roll a version of Narud to get the area that has Shahala as the boss. The starting area will be Seeker's Rest, and you need to visit Alepsis Tora as part of the story and grab it in the colourful area that you visit. Do not use the override pin and then wait for 12 real life hours for a ship to arrive and then go there. Then you have Leto's amulet that requires you to do a flop 100 times while wearing heavy armor and then it can be bought from Reggie. The explorer's armor set is needed so you will need to beat the game in order to buy it from Whispers as this comes with the explorer class. For your skills you need the fortune hunter and the wormhole ability equipped and you get this from level 10 of the explorer class and level 5 of the invader class so you will have to level them up. Next is to get the amber moonstone. This is an item from Cass's shop in ward 13 which refreshes every 30 minutes so you need to keep checking it. You also have the black cap band which you can buy after dying 15 times as well as the cube gun which you can get from the labyrinth after defeating the boss in there with all of the cubes. Then you need Ford's scatter gun which comes from the red throne on Yisha. There's a fake wall in the library on the left hand side and you must be wearing the seal of the empress ring. You do not want to offend the queen and do not give her the seed or the lockbox. For your melee weapon you will need the labyrinth staff which we've already explained on the channel how you can get this but essentially the checkpoint in front of the changing portal you go left and jump down onto the floating platforms that then create a bridge for you. You move over the teleport platform when it appears kill the enemies down inside and you'll have it for yourself. Next is Xania's Malice which is found on Root Earth in the Ashen Wasteland hole in the wall after the first checkpoint before the Trainyard Horde event. And then you have Anesthesia's Inspiration which can be bought from Whispers for 3000 scrap. When you equipped all of these exactly like you see on the screen now, you will be able to open the portal door and go through. To get to the corrupted portal, you will need to be in the labyrinth map and then make your way to the flickering portal where you then wait until it cycles to a specific gateway that has you seemingly dropped to your death. But if you go through on a delay, an invisible platform appears and you can run up. And if you run straight ahead on your right, you'll find the corrupted portal here. Once you go through, you will appear in the back rooms, which is a very strange area that is definitely some kind of hint to the developers. This area looks fake, but I can assure you it is 100% real. It's also important to note that you have a limited time to navigate this area. So if you want to get the Archon class and the other items available, you need to be quick. Within here, you can find the strange box, which is a material that allows you to get the Archon class back in Ward 13. But there's also some other items that you can pick up too. All of these items that you need will also be in the description down below. But next up, let's go through an overview of the class and check out the abilities. We haven't leveled it up for ourselves, but we can still mouse over everything to see what it does. So here we are with the Archon class. This is actually my first time going through all of these skills and perks and abilities, so do bear with me. But as you can see, I have it as my default class with the Summoner, which makes us have the Tempest Invoker. As you can see, the prime perk is Tempest, which automatically generates two mod power per second and casting a mod increases all mod generation by 50% for six seconds. So just from the prime perk, we have a pretty safe bet that this class is all about mod power, which is actually pretty nice as there are some really good mod powers out there. And if you add on all different rings and uh, combine it with another class like the summoner, where you get extra mod damage, 35% and crit chance, it pr it's a pretty good synergy if you do rely on mods. But let's go through the skills. The first one is reality rune. Conjure a 7 meter protective dome which applies slow to enemy en any enemies or projectiles and allies inside gain a tasty 25% damage reduction for 15 seconds. A 60 second cooldown on that one though. The second skill is Chaos Gate 
which makes a 7 meter unstable zone that gives allies a 15% increase to all damage dealt and 25% more mod generation. So again, that mod generation theme coming through, but increases the damage that allies take by 15%. So you deal more damage, but you take more damage while you're in that Chaos Gate zone as well. And then the final skill, the most cool one in my opinion, the Havoc form. This unleashes the power of the Labyrinth to empower the caster with new abilities for 30 seconds. The duration is reduced when you use the abilities of this power though. The first one is fire to blast lightning tendrils from your hand that deal shock damage per second to targets within 15 meters. You have your aim that makes an energy shield that shocks enemies per second and also reduces damage to all allies by 50%, which is quite a lot. And then your dodge performs a blink evade that also deals damage to enemies within three meters. Really cool. I cannot wait to level it up and try this ability out for myself. But let's go through the perks. For our damage perk, we have Amplify, a straight up increase to our mod damage. Again, that mod perk coming through. This is definitely one for using with weapon mods when it comes to the class itself. Then our team perk is Power Creep. After casting a mod, 5% of the mod power spent will be regenerated by all allies. That's going to be really good in group play and multiplayer online. Then we have the utility perk Spirit Within, which reduces the mod power requirement for all mods by 15%. That's also really nice because some of these mod powers require over a thousand to uh, actually get it. So a 15% is a big decrease. And then we have the, the relic perk Power Leak, which using a relic grants 200 mod power for both equipped mods. So that basically makes any mod in any relic into a mod generator, which is also very, very nice, considering that some relics also give you mod regeneration per second. And for our actual trait card, we have Flash Caster, increasing mod and skill casting by 5%. These actually sound insane. For some of those really good mod powers that deal a lot of damage, but have a very high mod cost, not only are they costing less, you're also regenerating more after you cast it for your whole team. You're dealing more damage, and then you're also getting more mod generation. This is a insane sounding class. Guys, I can't not wait to level this up. Tell me what you think about all of this, this crazy class, and the crazy way to obtain it. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you should probably check these ones out too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.